I just did an entire video with no audio working. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hey friends, did you know that in the US July is UV Awareness Month? And did you know in August, it's a tongue twister, it's Summer Sun Safety Month. So this is just to remind everybody about best practices for safety in the sun. Besides Summer Sun Safety, July is about UV awareness. Excessive exposure to ultraviolet light causes most skin cancers. It can also cause cataracts. It can cause, uh, heaven forbid, eye cancer. Very rare though. It can also cause a painful eye condition called photokeratitis. And that um, condition is like if you, if you think about having a sunburn, but it's your eyes. It, it causes damage to your eyes. It is usually temporary, but not always. And it also is, a con uh, the UV rays are contributory to what we call snow blindness. Melanoma has been around for a long time. In fact, um, it has been published that in 1804, uh, Dr. Rene Lineck, who is a French, French physician, discovered melanoma. There are three types of skin cancer. There's squamous cell, basal cell, and melanoma. The most common is basal cell. And I'll put some numbers up here about what the most current number is in the United States and the UK for uh, being diagnosed with skin, one type of skin cancer. So what's the best way to protect yourself? So remember when there's an awareness month, it's just a really good reminder that we go over some of these things that we all think about it, about um, sun safety, wearing sunglasses, being sure to wear a hat, whether it's cloudy or not. Children also need hats and sunglasses. Uh, of course, sunscreen. UV protective clothing. And um, I didn't even know this, but there are contact lenses that have UV protection in them as well. What else causes UV damage? In addition to the sun's rays, you can also get damage from tanning beds. And uh, remember those sun lamps? <laughs> UV damage from these things that I just mentioned causes premature aging by your skin being way more wrinkled early on due to collagen breakdown, elastin breakdown, uh, changes in the skin texture. Remember when people used to always call it like leather skin. And um, of course, what I mentioned were cataracts and other eye damage. So really, at this point, most people know all of this, but it's always good to have these awareness months to remind ourselves and, and remember the, the reason, what is the best practice for the reason of taking care of your skin and paying really close attention to tanning beds and UV rays and what can happen. So um, again, back to the best practice would be using sunscreen, reapplying your sunscreen every couple hours using waterproof or sweat resistant sunscreen, uh, taking care of your eyes. If you're a welder, take care of your eyes that way too, but back to the UV rays. So it would be um, wearing eye protection, wearing hats, wearing clothing that protects your skin. If you don't have UV protection clothing, just wear a light t-shirt, wear something long sleeved if you're able to do that. But clothing does give you another layer of protection, but it doesn't replace sunscreen. Let's talk about some myths. Can black skin get skin cancer? Any color of skin can get skin cancer. It is less common uh, for black skin to, or darker skin to get some of these skin cancers but it happens. Um, and black skin can get sunburned. Skin damage, skin cancer can happen, can happen with any color of skin. Myth number two is that it's okay to get a, a little sunburn or a little tan. So tanned skin is still damaged skin. It's still, uh, damage is occurring, DNA in those cells is still breaking down and changing. It's still going to age your skin, even if it's just a good looking tan. Here's a little fun fact. Where is the skin cancer capital of the world? Did you guess it? It's Queensland, Australia. 
The next myth is still a really common one where a lot of people feel like it's cloudy, it's overcast. Um, I really don't have to worry too much about getting a sunburn, but you can get some of the worst sunburns ever um, in areas where on the days that it's cloudy and overcast. Sun's tree never expires. Um, it does expire. And unfortunately, it's expensive. And so you want to buy a new, new bottle each year or replace it as soon as it expires. It's just a risk you probably don't want to take of putting on expired sunscreen and going out for the day or reapplying um, expired sunscreen and thinking that it's going to protect you. It won't protect you probably to the best that it could if it was fresh. The last myth is that children can't get skin cancer. Children can get skin cancer and children can get melanoma. Um, so I've only seen in my nursing career, mostly work in pediatrics, I've only seen one child and it was a nine-year-old who had melanoma behind the knee. That child died. Um, so yes, there are advancements and strides being made for melanoma that are so promising, but it can happen to anybody of any color and anybody of any age. Well, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, it's a good reminder for me too each year when these months come around and it's a national awareness for something or international awareness for something. In the last couple months, so over the summer, it was UV and summer sun safety. So um, if you like this kind of content and you like to talk about tips and myths and different kinds of medical topics, please consider subscribing and please click the like button. See you next time.